Hi, my name is Ian Winner. I'm an AmeriCorps state member serving with the United Way of Tucson and Shelby in Arizona. This video is the first of a couple of videos on setting up Zendesk for our Valley Vita model, and this is associated with our Valley Vita toolkit. This first video, I'll be going over how to set, how to set up ticket fields, which are the basic step in Zendesk you should do before any of the other ones. If you go into uh, the views and click on a ticket just to look at what they are, you can see the type and priority uh, ticket fields that are already made by Zendesk. We're going to remove those and add some more Valet Vita relevant ones. To get started, you'll click on Admin tab and then Find Ticket Fields under Manage. Uh, you can see the built-in default Zendesk options. We're going to remove the type uh, as it specifically asks about questions versus issues and isn't really relevant to tax prep or our needs. Next, if you want to keep priority and your organization prefers it, you can keep it, but we don't use it in ours. Um, we just use organization with dates and follow-up to track tickets, not the priority tag. So once those are removed, we're going to start adding some to the system. First is going to be return status, which is really the bread and butter to tracking tickets as they move through and um, track returns as we prep them. So the first thing you want to do is click up where the title is and type in the title. It's how the ticket field will pop up in each ticket. Then you click on drop down because that's what we use. You don't have to edit any of these other options and then you add in field values. These field values are how we track returns through their preparation and each step represents a step in the prep. So you have in progress, which is once a ticket has been opened and started, then we have ready for quality review. Uh, the next two are going to be um, dependent on your organizational needs and capacity, but we offer electronic and in-person signature. So if someone prefers that we email their documents to them for their review and they sign digitally, um, they can do that. So that, that's the first option uh, in Zendesk that we're putting here. And then we're going to have another ready for signature pickup. Next is going to be ready for e-file, which we use to track returns once they've been signed. Um, and if they haven't been submitted, we submit them. And if they haven't been processed by the IRS, that's where they, this is where they stay. Um, we'll come back to this when we set up the views, but the next one is going to be completed returns. These should really be ones that are accepted by the IRS and or your state revenue services, and um, you usually shouldn't have to come back to that step once a ticket goes in there. The next one is do not file, which is for returns that Maybe someone went to another service or didn't need our services anymore, or their initial scan was just for the purpose of asking a question or something. Um, it keeps volunteers from starting or finishing a return they shouldn't have. And the last one is also dependent on your capacity. We have a student, foreign student option um, for any returns that have that certification. We have one site that offers um, foreign students certified for tax return prep. And so it's useful to keep that as a distinct category from all the other ones. Um, that might be different if you do significantly more or significantly less foreign student returns, you might want to have a different system for it. Uh, the next, um, so you can see we finished with return status. We're going to add another one. Um, it's going to be another drop down, and it's going to be needs more info. And it's how we track returns that are missing information that we need for preparation. So first you have missing documents, and then missing info on the intake sheet. Um, and the main point of those two is to distinguish if we can contact the, the, the client and they explicitly need to make contact and send us new documents um, that are missing, you'd want a missing document tag. 
if it's something that you can consult the volunteer who did the intake on, um, if that's faster for you, and if you can communicate with your volunteers more readily than with clients, then that's the purpose of this. And last, we have other just as a catch-all for any other situation. Now that needs more info is there, we're going to add a checkbox this time, and it's going to be call required. So that way you can sort through for any returns or tickets that explicitly need contacting. Um, and that's really all you need to do here. You don't need to add or mess with any other options. So once that is done, we're going to move on to another quick one for special certification. Uh, this is an additional layer of certification. certification. Um, this is for an extra layer of organization within Zendesk. Hopefully, the important ones should already be covered by the naming convention that we use on the files. But this is just in case uh, we need to further insulate uh, these special kinds of returns. And if you, if you have additional or less certification levels, then obviously this step would have to change. So we're going to add another field, and this time it's going to be uh, status after filing. And this is mostly to track any rejects. So it's once more going to be a drop down and accepted or rejected. I'm going to save that. We're almost done. And the last one we're going to add is going to be an additional layer of organization within Zendesk. It's just going to be for the sites. One more drop down. And I'm only going to add three abbreviations to keep this fast. But uh, you can add as many sites as you have. It, this should also be covered in the naming convention, but it is uh, something that makes it easier down the line to prepare reports within Zendesk rather than having to search and sort through. Um, and so lastly, to double check all of the changes we just made, you can go, you have to refresh to force the changes through. You can go back to the views and look at a ticket. And you see all these new options here that we just filled in. So anytime you're preparing uh, return, you would go to this ticket and open the files, prepare in tax layer, and then any comments you add here and any further things that you need to change, you can update here. To make these in any different order that you would prefer, uh, something that might prioritize which things people are editing the most, you can go back to the admin manage section and click on ticket forms. And this way you can just edit the, the order that these are on the tickets. So we're going to put Call required there. Um, status filing after filing, maybe last. And you save again. See, ticket form is updated and we're done. Um, so you can see that doesn't update. You have to reload to see it again accurately. But uh, we're done with ticket fields. And the next thing that I'll cover in the next video is how to do ticket views, which will rearrange these categories into something you actually want to monitor through the return prep.